Welcome back. So in today's session, we are going to talk about middleware. All right. Now, before uh, we start writing middleware functions, we need to understand what middleware is. So in terms of web frameworks, middleware is kind of a component or you can say technically a function which is chained to the request response cycle. Okay. And we sort of inject it at a particular place in the request response cycle so that it's able to do something that it's meant to or supposed to do. So usually in the enterprise middleware functions are used for you know taking care of many cross-cutting concerns. So cross-cutting concerns are things like uh, some common logging or security related things, authentication, uh, validation of the tokens, and uh, making sure that uh, your API is not being DDoS attacked by sending a very large size of the post payload or by rate limiting attacks, right? So these are the things that are not specific to your business logic, okay? But these are kind of like common things and uh, you may want to use some middleware functions for some of the endpoints but not for all and so middleware is a way to actually sort of uh, abstract it away from your business logic and have it as an add-on to your handlers so that's the idea for example if you have one public endpoint then and, and you have one private endpoint that can only be accessed by somebody who has a valid username and password then you can have some kind of an authentication function that will only be invoked when that private endpoint is being accessed but not getting invoked when the public endpoint is getting accessed because you at least want people to to be able to see the home page right so this is one of the examples of middleware and there are many things that middleware functions are able to do so having said that now let's understand what middleware functions are so if you if you know our handler functions here so we know that the handler functions have a signature where the first one is the path, the second one is the handler func, right? So if you see, this is a handler func and its signature is, uh, its signature is, if you see, it is a uh, context, it's a function uh, which accepts context struct and returns an error. And that is what handler function is that is the signature of the handler function in echo framework of course in net HTTP framework the handler function has a different syntax but we are talking about echo framework right now and if you see that the third argument is actually kind of an optional argument I mean yeah if uh, everything in go has a zero value so for example this one is uh, you have a middleware uh, function so you can pass multiple middleware functions there. Now, what exactly is a middleware function? So let's find out. So in the get method, we have a middleware function. Okay, and what is middleware? Well, middleware function is nothing but it's, it's actually a type function. So this is a type getting defined here. So if you go all the way up, it's a block code for doing mass type definitions, okay? So middleware function is getting uh, defined as a type here and uh, it is actually a function underneath a function that accepts handler func as an argument and returns the handler func okay and handler func we know has the syntax that it accepts a context and returns an error so that's what middleware function is that's what it is so let's get back to the code here uh, again, just for the revision, so middleware function is a type. Middleware func is a type which is inherently a function which accepts handler, handler func as an argument and returns it as well. Handler func accepts context as an argument and returns it. And this way now we can write any function uh, and use it as a middleware function in the framework. Okay, so let me give an example here. So I have one example here that uh, let me just I picked it up from uh, echo document but let me just uh, rename it let's say server message okay so server message has the same 
signature, okay? The same signature as middleware function. So it accepts handler func as an argument and returns the handler func, okay? So it is returning a function, a function that has the same signature as handler func. It's returning an anonymous function having the same signature as handler func, okay? And all it's doing here is it is actually printing inside middleware and then it is returning by calling next C all right so next is a function right so this function accepts another function as an argument so you can technically call it right and that function is a handler function type so you're calling it with uh, the context argument here okay so the idea is that when middleware function actually gets called it does its magic and then it passes it on to somebody else right so because it's part of the request response chain right so there's always going to be somebody that it will pass the thing to right so that is the idea here of behind calling next okay now how do we use middleware so we found one spot already so we can do is we can actually put the name of the function here silver message okay and just for the sake of uh, some simplicity I've added one println statement here in get products get products is our method for products endpoint okay and I've just added a uh, print ln statement here just so that we know uh, the order of the flow here all right so let me just save this and this gets built just fine I come back to insomnia I hit send nothing happens here but if you go back to the terminal you see that it calls inside middleware first and this is coming from server message function and then it calls inside get products okay so that's the idea so the uh, this middleware intercepted the call to get products and all it was doing right now was just printing the message but you could do a bunch of things right you could verify the request okay if the request payload has a particular syntax or something right so you can you can do uh, that kind of verification you can do security kind of verification so all these are cross cutting concerns that you can do and these concerns and then this this uh, this logics can be specific to a particular endpoint or they, it it can be common to all the endpoints so right now this particular endpoint is getting invoked at the route level all right so let me give an example so i'm going to call this endpoint this endpoint doesn't have any print ln statement in its method okay it doesn't have anything and neither does it have a middleware function okay so while it is running I'm gonna call the get method for calling the second product and I get the second product and nothing gets printed right so there was no middleware here okay so what so that means that this particular middleware was just getting invoked for this particular route so this is a route level middleware also if you uh, pay attention to the signature it is actually you know you have these three dots that means that you can pass any number of middleware here okay so let's say I just want to copy this message over again all right and I'm just gonna ca call it let's say do all right and inside middleware do okay and I'm just gonna chain it again to the same function server message do okay so I've got two middleware functions chained to this endpoint all right and I call it back again the products endpoint and I get the list again back in the code inside middleware inside middleware do and then I get inside get products right so I can chain multiple middleware functions onto the same endpoint. Having said that, let me remove this. So this was a route level middleware, but you could also have a common middleware that uh, can be used for all the endpoints. Okay, and 
that can be done by using this use method and use method only accepts the middleware function in this case I'm just going to pass it middleware a server message function I'm going to remove this function I don't need it right now okay and I'm going to save it and this time I'm going to call this endpoint again I get inside middleware inside get products all right let me call another endpoint and this time I get inside middleware I don't get inside get products because there is no uh, print ln statement in get product method okay so this one is getting called every for every route and it's getting called before they get executed right so before they get executed so um, that's the function of middleware there is another method called pre and pre is supposed to be a, a method that is supposed to call middleware as well but so far what I've found is uh, both of them seem to be behaving the same way and from the description that's on the document it is not clear exactly how they are different so I don't have much detail here ab about e dot pre method in fact it's supposed to be called before any route in fact even starts processing the endpoints it's supposed to be called at that point but I didn't quite get the use case and I was not able to reproduce its use case usability so if you guys know anything please uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know how it can be used all right and uh, I'm also exploring this middleware uh, part myself I wanted to find if there was a way to call a middleware function after a particular endpoint gets invoked and does its magic is there a way to do that and uh, I haven't explored much but I wasn't able to find anything so if you guys know anything about that let me know all right and I'll be very thankful to you but uh, overall you understand the middleware concept right now and you understand what they're used for and how you can use them at least for the popular purposes using e dot use or using it in the uh, route method signature call itself is enough for many purposes okay so this uh, is good enough okay and uh, now having learned this we will now see a couple of examples of some of the other middlewares that are available I think as part of the echo framework and we'll see some demonstration on that until then goodbye